Next, let's review the axle plumbing components. TireMax utilizes internal axle hoses that connect the controller plumbing to a rotary connection in the wheel end. The internal axle hose is different than many competitive systems in the market that utilize a pressurized axle. The use of internal hoses allows Hendrickson to locate a vent for the wheel end in a protected location. All tire inflation systems require a wheel end vent in case a leak occurs. On most systems, this vent is located on the hubcap and is often exposed to excessive road spray, road chemicals, and power washing fluids. All of these fluids can enter through the hubcap vent and contaminate the wheel ends. Hendrickson's non-pressurized TireMax axle allows the use of a ventless hubcap and locates the vent on the axle itself. To ensure that the wheel end remains free of contaminants, all Hendrickson axles feature a patented axle filter, which prevents debris from entering the wheel ends from the axle tube side. TireMax wheel end components connect the axle hose to the tires. All TireMax systems require a hubcap that is specifically designed for use with the TireMax. This hubcap includes an integral rotary union and provides the interface between a stationary axle hose and rotating tire hoses. The TireMax rotary union contains ball bearings and a lip seal. Previous versions of TireMax CP had a similar rotary union design, but it was mounted to the spindle instead of the hubcap. Both designs function identically. They allow the air to flow from the stationary axle hose to the rotating hubcap. Because the latest version integrates the rotary union into the hubcap, it is sometimes referred to as TireMax CP Integrated. Previous versions of the TireMax CP hubcaps use a silver-colored adapter plate, while current CP hubcaps no longer include an adapter plate. TireMax Pro also integrates the rotary union into the hubcap and uses a red adapter plate. Hendrickson's unique TireMax hubcap has internal air passages that connect an integrated rotary union to the tire hoses. These tire hoses connect the hubcap to each tire. Dual tire applications require two tire hoses per wheel end, whereas wide base tires only need one tire hose per wheel end. New TireMax systems are sold with thermoplastic tire hoses. Prior to June 2015, systems included stainless steel braided hoses. The thermoplastic hoses are reverse compatible with all TireMax systems featuring the hubcap mounted rotary union. Hendrickson's tire inflation systems must be equipped with an indicator light that alerts the driver whenever the system requires attention. This indicator is typically located at the front of the trailer and is easily visible to the driver from his mirror. The TireMax indicator light does not illuminate for an extended period when the system is operating normally and tires are free of leaks.